to the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not. What's up, guys? Youngster Gamer here, and in this video, I'm really bringing you guys level 200 single evolved Grizzly Reaper gameplay. Now, um, whenever I did the single evolution video, a couple people were angry that I didn't do show gameplay of him right after I evolved him. And the reason I didn't do that is because I wanted to show realistic gameplay at him at a higher level, not just like level one single evolved gameplay. So now I got my Grizzly Reaper to level 200 single evolved. So I'm going to do gameplay of him in this video before I double evolve him because I don't want to. Uh, not do any single evolve gameplay because I know some people they want Grizzly Reaper is good, but at the same time they don't want to spend five thousand fame to double evolve him. So he's good, so they want to see if he's good at single evolution to decide if they want to evolve him or not. Now let me show you guys him in gameplay three different styles. Um, one I'm gonna show is how much his proc does without any buffs. Then I'm gonna show how much damage his proc does with Cupid buffs, and then I'm gonna show a real. Uh, like raid. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a real guild war type battle to where I can't use magic and I'm using Grizzly Reaper instead of Spe um, instead of Pixie and see if Grizzly Reaper is good for that thing, good for guild war. So I got Grizzly Reaper here, got Warlock here. Let's go ahead and make sure the rest of my guild war heroes are out. So there's Cupid. Now we just gotta trade Vlad for Treontar, I, I think. And also, another reason I'm doing this video right now before I get my computer on is because my internet will be on this week. Um, the internet company is supposed to call tomorrow with um, when they're going to come out and set us up. And they should come out and set the internet up either Tuesday or Wednesday, they said. Wednesday max and Tuesday maybe. So, yeah, that's another reason why I'm doing this video now is because I really want... To let you guys know that my internet will be on very soon where I can do videos every single day. At least one or two videos every day. So let me go ahead and set up my crest. I need War God on Ares and War God on my Grizzly Reaper. So got to take the War God off my Pixie. Put it on my Grizzly Reaper. And I think after I double evolve my Grizzly Reaper. I'm going to use my Grizzly Reaper in place of Pixie. Until I get enough duplicates to double evolve my Pixie. So and this is also for me. Let me know what... Um, if I should use Grizzly Reaper or Pixie, so not really a good base to see. I mean, it was a good Guild Wars base, but this is a base I'm looking for where it's got a mix of different heroes and it's got plenty of buildings for him to proc on. So let's go and see how much damage his proc does without any buffs. No buff from Cupid, no buffs from anybody, um, just a three War God Crest, and let's go and see how he does. So there he goes. He took Ares' health down a little bit, Pumpkin Duke's health down a little bit, and... Vlad's health down a little bit, so uh, second proc in, he almost has killed Pumpkin Duke, Ares, and Vlad. So let's go ahead, is he going to die? And he does heal himself every time he procs, so he already killed Pumpkin Duke and Ares, so we still got Vlad left. So now Vlad's dead. Alright, let's go ahead and end it before we lose him, but you just saw how much damage he can do without a buff, so now we're going to go ahead and see how much damage he does with a buff, so... Here we go, we got another single evolved Vlad Dracula. So we can compare how much damage he does to this Vlad as he did to the last Vlad. So Cupid buff. So there he goes. Took down halfway, half of Santa's health. Took down Vlad's health a little bit. And he took down Golem's health just a little bit. So uh, he missed that time. Let me make sure that Cupid's actually buffing him before he procs. Alright, so that was a no buff... Uh, Proc right there. That was a buff proc. He killed Cupid. Cupid revived. And we're at 21%. The only thing is that, yeah, um, it does seem that Grizzly Reaper does hit really hard when raiding. But he gets to really high percent really fast, which isn't good for Guild Wars. You want to stay under 40% before um, deciding if you should go or not. So with Cupid buff, mix up with him without Cupid buff, he's pretty much took out this whole base, only Skull Knight. And Vlad and Ghoulam left. I'm going to go ahead and end it because I don't want to lose any heroes. So that was with Cupid buff. And now let's go ahead and do a real Guild War situation. Let's go and find a realistic Guild War base that I'd hit in a real Guild Wars. And this does look pretty realistic. So um, let's go and put down Warlock. And I meant to put down Grizzly Reaper. So Ares and Cupid down. And let's go and see how he does. So. I saw him take down at least half of that one hero's health, which was really great. Uh, was able to kill him, and now we got three heroes left. 
There we go, Grizzly Reaper proc killing the Vlad Dracula and Dread Drake. And Warlock finishing them off. So we got Vlad left. And now no Vlad left. So there we go. A realistic Gilbor raid as well. We did a raid with just showing how much his damage his proc does. And then showing how much damage his proc does with Cupid buff. And then we just did a realistic Gilbor raid. Um, as if it was a real Guild Wars, and he did pretty good, and I definitely will use him after I double evolve him, but right now he's, it's kind of, I'm kind of in between whether to use Pixie or Grizzly Reaper when they're both single evolved, because, um, the, de the upside to Grizzly Reaper is that he does more damage, the upside to Pixie is that Pixie doesn't hit troops, and Pixie heals other heroes and removes debuffs, so, um, at this point I really would use Pixie instead, but in my situation, I have the dupes to double evolve Grizzly Reaper, but don't have the dupes to double evolve Pixie. So I'm going to double evolve Grizzly Reaper and use him in place of Pixie. So, all right, Grizzly Reaper isn't dead, so we can go ahead and get a few more. Let's see, I was trying to see how long the video is. All right, so let's go ahead and just put this down. All right. So let's go and see how much damage he does to... He almost killed that... Grizzly Reaper got him more than halfway down on his health. It's going to get one more um, unbuffed proc out of him. So there we go. And now let's go and buff his proc. So there we go. He took down half of that, more than half of that Dredrake's health already. So he definitely is a good sniper. And I can't wait to double evolve him and get you guys some gameplay of him double evolve because he is going to be a epic sniper and I am going to double evolve him as soon as my internet gets back on I'm going to do the double evolution video I also have like I need to double evolve paladin I need to double evolve warlock I need to double evolve ghoulm they're all ready to double evolve I'm just waiting for my internet to get back on to do the video so um, last thing before I say this video before I end this video if this video gets 40 likes I'll do a level 200 single evolve paladin video before I double evolve him uh, to let you guys know if a single evolved paladin is worth it, you know. If maybe you don't want to spend five thousand fame on a paladin, but you want to know if one thousand fame on a paladin is worth it, um, get forty likes on this video, and I'll go ahead and test out this six to ten level two hundred um, paladin single evolve before I double evolve him, and I'm gonna double evolve him as when my internet gets put back on as well. So again, get this video forty likes, get some single evolve level two hundred paladin gameplay, and as soon as my internet gets back on this week, I'm gonna double evolve warlock, Ghoulum, Paladin and Grizzly Reaper. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have not, then sorry, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comment section below.